1998 Ford Explorer, crank but no start. Let's check it out. Now my last video with this exact vehicle, it was a fuel pump issue. We changed the fuel pump. I showed you how to troubleshoot it. Put a link back to that video so you can see all that. We're not going to go through all that again. We're not going to go through the troubleshooting, pull the fuel tank down. But this time it's doing something very similar. No fuel at the fuel rail. So I figured, well, it's a clogged fuel filter. Got a fuel filter, put it in, still nothing. Went down below the car, disconnected the fuel filter um, after the filter. Turned the key on and back off, tons of fuel comes out. For some reason it's not going up to the engine. Man, I looked all over this thing, tried to find issues. There's, there's not a whole lot on the internet about it, so I decided to take the gas tank back down again, which is aggravating, but it's really not that hard on this vehicle. I found the problem, cheap parts. Don't do cheap parts. So here we are again, same position as the last video that I did as far as troubleshooting fuel systems. I normally buy Motocraft parts for all my cars, but for this, it was for uh, a neighbor down the street. She wanted it fixed, cheap as she could, and so I went and got an auto parts, just a regular discount auto parts fuel pump, put in it, got it fixed. Well, now my daughter has the car, and the one that helped me fix it in the last video, and I'm kind of glad because I wouldn't want this to happen with somebody else. But if you look, the new fuel line that connects the fuel pump up to the fuel line itself, to deliver it to the engine, is busted. You can feel it, and it is so, I mean, it's soft. It's completely lost its rigidity, and obviously that's the bad part. So this kind of auto part stuff got me again. Knew I shouldn't have done that. I thought about it. I got so mad at myself. I thought about going and getting a whole assembly from Ford. I'm like, man, I don't have to do that. So I'm just going to try to find a piece of fuel line that's going to fit that, and... Hopefully that's, it's not gonna do that again because the fuel pump's working fine. I actually thought the fuel pump went out. I'm thinking, well, that's just great. Fuel pump went out that I just put in there, but it was actually pumping okay. So let's get a new fuel line, see what we can do. All right, back from the auto parts. Got another piece of hose. This hose feels a whole lot better than that last one, even when the other one was new before the fuel softened it up. It didn't feel as strong as this stuff. So, but it's still discount auto parts hose. I'm a glutton for punishment. I know, I need my head checked, <laughs> but I'm also cheap. So I'm gonna cut this right here, put a new piece on. All right, so our new piece of hose is on. Fits a lot better than the old one. Feels better. Just gonna stick it in the tank, see if it cranks. See if I can get fuel at the engine. Just like that, we have another car fixed. Now this one took quite a bit more troubleshooting um, than I would normally do with the fuel pump because we've already replaced all that. I could hear the pump working. I checked the relay. I knew it was getting 12.6 volts, exactly the voltage from the, from the battery. And when I pulled the fuel filter down, I was getting gas coming out of the filter and it was pumping out pretty reasonably amount. But I guess when the gas tried to go up towards the engine, that's whenever it couldn't overcome that pressure. You also have a pressure regulator in there. Give the fuel injectors enough pressure to actually operate. I'm thinking that back pressure is what opened up the hole in that hose and caused it to spray out there. So when I disconnected it at the filter, then it was just free flowing. It could easily just free flow out there. So that's something to check out. If you have gas coming out of the uh, fuel filter, but it's not coming out at the fuel rail of the engine, it could be that little piece of hose. I mean, that really stinks that's inside the gas tank, but I hope this fuel hose lasts longer than the other one. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. I got a couple other pieces. Maybe just go in there and drop the gas tank every six months, put a new piece of hose on it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> put it back together and my daughter will be happy when she gets home from work. Keep your money in your pocket by doing it yourself. Y'all have a great day.